Now they used to say this next kid had a great smile. They don't say that anymore. This is number four. Question, is it possible to body slam yourself? Hells yeah, just do like this kid. This is number four. Skateboarding is a lot of fun. But when the doctors at your local hospital know you by name, you got problems. This is number five. Skateboarders are always pushing themselves to the edge. But when bones start pushing through your skin, you gotta ease up a bit. This is number three. You ever wonder what that cute girl next door does when she's not being chased by dudes? Well, this next chick gets chased by other girls, and they're all riding big-ass quads. It's number four. I don't know what the hell you were thinking. People do all kinds of crazy to lose weight. But tearing your intestines apart on a stair rail is not recommended. It's number three, snowboarding. There's a reason most people do it on soft white powder. Whoever decided to add a long ass metal bar to that equation was out of his mind. This is number four. Now, you might remember this next kid from episode six. My knee's bent all the way back, and it just drills right into the concrete. Oh. And that's what ends up breaking my kneecap. Well, he's back, dumbass. This is number four. Nailing a sick BMX trick should give you a lot to smile about. That is, if you've got any teeth left. Oh. It's number five. If I've learned anything from this show, it's this. No matter how steep the rail, somewhere out there, there's an idiot who thinks he can nail it. This is one of those idiots. It's number two. Guys who ride motocross for a living have one thing in common. Lots of scars. This is number three. This next kid got hurt while attending church camp. He should have prayed he wouldn't bust his ass. This is number four. Skateboarding will have you feeling good, loving life. And if you're like this girl, walking with a limp. This is number five.